we, we had an opportunity to work it practically through ordinary methods, but we made a decision that we are going to acquire whatever we want by faith. And faith in many occasions is, a, is, is like it is, it's like faith is in opposition with facts. We could have decided to apply the root of facts, but we made a decision to apply the root of faith. Because faith delivers before manifestation. Facts deliver when you see practically. Hallelujah. Listen, remember your Christ on the camera of As you receive it with joy, it happens quicker. Someone shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. I receive it. I receive it. Manyumba, I receive it. Akaisa how nani? Sisi atu tegebe imambo ya kungangana. Sisi ni watu wa imani. Tunaipokea kwa roho na inafanyika yetu. Yes, whenever I receive whatever you ask, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it in it will be yours. Kwani kwani tofauti yetu na watu wa dunia iko wapi? Hivi kwa nini tujikusanye hapa tungangane na mambo ya Yesu kama hayaleta tofauti kati yetu na wengine? There must be people that are extraordinary and there must be ordinary. Our ways are not their ways. Our standards are not their standards. I receive it. Yes, what is some amini kwamba umepokea na itakuwa yako. Look at your pastor. I have been to class for many years. I can't come to shout. I receive it even kama sio practical. Kama ni labu nimekuwa hata ili shamba na kaanza mahali tuko. Yes, waliniambia kwa mlima nenda mkapokea. Nikatoka kwa mlima nikakuja hapa. Akaniambia utanyosha nyosha mkono mahali mkono utapendi hiyo ndio shamba ya kanisa hapa kulikuwa na mahindi nikatembea mashamba yote nikafika hapa nikanyosha mkono mkono ukapendi nikaingia ndani ya mahindi nikasema i receive it si tuko hapa si tuko hapa mimi you can't use philosophy to teach me you can't apply philosophy on me mimi nimekuwa nikiona watu wanaugua Hapa hapa watu wanasema kuna mama mmoja alikuwa ameua kanza. Mimi nasema kanza ya yuka anasema I receive it I receive it wakati alienda level 6 akaambiwa you are cancer free. Hapa <laughs> watu wa imani ni utoto. Sit down. Na inakaa ubumbafu kwa watu wengine lakini kwetu tunaokoka is the power of God. Hayo hayo kikoa mtoto wa mitandao mambo mengine atakupita. Utangangana ati unaongojea ufanye bidi. Bidi unafanyaje na wachai wanakungojea? Utafanyaje bidi wa, wa, wanakungojea ukanyaya watoe udongo. Lasima u receive it. Unakuwa kama bumbafu. Wanakuuliza hii matafali ni ya nani? Ni yangu. Ulipata wabi besa? I receive it kwa matabau. I receive it. Mambo ya mbinguni. Ya naansa na hiyo bumbafu. I receive it. Alafu ya na manifest. Ati nyumba, nyumba hakaisa hau nani? Nani anana, ali, siyo komba. Biblia inasema, mi, utajiri wa wenye haki, sasa hivi uko kwa mikono ya wenye thambi. Na kuyo, yesu, siyo komba imesauliwa, iko hapo ime, imewekwa inatungojea, ata hii town. Nani alichua tutapata shamba? I receive it. <laughs> Weo, well, kiona ni ubumbafu, shauli yako. Mimi si mshiriki wa mambo kama hayo. Mimi naamini kwa Biblia, Bible. Biblia inasema believe that you have received it. Sio ni uchinga. Ati hauna au yoni lakini anasema amini kwamba umepata na itakuwa yako. E class ya I receive it. I Wengine hapa tunasema pokea nyumba. I receive it alafu in a few days unaona ina manifest. Hallelujah. This is faith. Yes. It's faith expression. Yes. Atutembei, yani usifikiri atitumeamini tukakuwa mabumbafu. Hapana. Hapana. We we had an opportunity to work it practically through ordinary methods, but we made a decision that we are going to acquire whatever we want by faith. Yes. 
And the faith in many occasions is a, is, is like it is yani ni kama inapinga facts. It's like faith is in opposition with facts. We could have decided to apply the root of facts, but we made the decision to apply the root of faith because faith delivers before manifestation. Facts deliver when you see practically. Hallelujah. Gari langu ili magari yangu yako pale mawili. Ili gari langu la kwanza hiyo Prado. Nilienda kwa shoro, sina hata shilingi moja. Nika maana nilikuwa nimesikia Yesu anasema ukikanyaga ume, umepata. So nikaenda kwa showroom nikajiangalia nikasema this is my car. Hii ndio mimi nataka. Nikauliza ni pesa ngapi? Nikaambiwa pay. And I didn't have any money. So unfortunately hiyo showroom ya lift car moto ilikuwa inafungwa kutoka KC maana mwenye alikuwa anasema mimi alikuwa anaitwa Councilor Lois alikuwa amekufa pale menyingwa na showroom ilikuwa inafungwa sasa mwenye magari akatuma watu wakuja kuchukua magari yote hilo nilikuwa nimerigusa nikasema this is my car magari yote yakawashwa yakaweka mafuta yote pale ilikuwa pale eh, karibu na Ram Hospital yote paka hili alafu tena nikafika pale nikauliza mbona naondoka wasema tunapeleka tuna magari nakuru Shortly after me nikatoka pale nikauliza ili amwezi kuniachia hili wakasema tafuta hata kama ni half a million tukwajie tuende na mengine nikatoka kuja kutafuta half a million kufika saa tisa nimekosa hata 10 pop <laughs> lakini magari mengine yakaondoka mimi nikarudi baada saa kumi nikawauliza ili alichaondoka ati tumefungua umepotea hapa tumetafuta ufungua kwa gari hapa One time ba, like after one month akanipigia simu na hiyo gari nilisikia ulikuwa unaipenda au na hata pesa kidogo uichukue uanze kulipa nikamwambia niko nayo lakini haitoshi kulipia gari maana gari unalipanga 70% akaniambia uko na ngapi nikamwambia niko na 200000 akaniambia wewe weka tu hiyo account ndio uanze kulipa na hiyo 200,000 si ati ilikuwa 200,000 ni 200 shillings lakini kwa magali unaongea in terms of thousands <laughs> hallelujah lazima uelewe vile hiyo lugha inaendaka sisi tunaongea kwa imani inakaa ubumbafu inakaa udanganyifu lakini ndio faith nikatoka pale nikakwenda kwa ule mzee maana ni rafiki yangu nikamwambia kuna gari hapa naomba uni tulikuwa tunafanya biashara pamoja naomba unikopesha 200,000 I will give it back to you after a week. Kuna kitu na deposit. Akanipea 200,000. Nika deposit hiyo siku. Ndio nikatuma mse mmoja wa hapa kanisani baka Nairobi Westland akatengeneza ufunguo nikakuja na hiyo gari. Na gari nikaambiwa nilipe chini ya miezi kumi. lakini kwa jina la Yesu nikalipa kwa miaka miwili. Lakini saa hii ukiangalia kwa logbook imeandikwa Peter Moruabe. Oyu ni nje bwana. Shout I receive it. Unajua inakaa kama bumbafu watu wengine mwelewi hii familia mahali mmeingia. Hii ni familia ya imani. Mwenye haki anaishi kwa imani. Hey! Watu wengine wako na staili yao ya kuishi lakini mwenye haki anaishi kwa imani. Na na uelewe hiyo imani ni ubumbafu kwa watu wenye akili lakini kwetu kwa naokoka is the power of God. It's the power of 